Hey everyone, I'm Tish Pine and welcome to Pine's Primal Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Ganbara Super Strikers, or Ganbear. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Uh, it's a turn-based soccer game. Um, might be interesting? We'll find out, I guess. Uh, it looked kind of interesting, definitely, so that's why I picked it up. Or, well, well, picked up a review copy by asking the devs very nicely. And uh, they agreed, so here we are. Uh, story mode, new game, uh, Team Toshima, sure. First name. Oh, wait. Why is there... what? Can I just type? I can't type, okay. Why is there... <laughs> is that a mobile game? I hope not. First name, TH Pine. Last name, uh... no wait, we do it differently. Uh, Pine and first name is TH. Okay. Uh, okay, we could change... Oh, outfit, let's not do that. Lots of stuff you can customize, that's always good, but not really what I'm looking for right now. Takao, hi there, you must be the new guy. I think it's an, like it's an anime turn-based tactical soccer game, which sounds amazing to me, so <laughs> let's find out if it is. I am Takao, captain of the team, and I'm gonna explain how things work. Feel free to have a look around. Uh, tutorial. Regeneration status restores SP for a player each turn. Okay. Welcome to the tutorial for Gambara Super Strikers. Here you will learn the basics you need to play the game. It's really confusing that there's an exclamation mark in the in the middle of the title. <laughs> what do you want to learn about? Um, move. To move a player, click on the player's square to select him. Okay. Click on the highlighted square to preview the move. Uh, click on the... Oh, there we go. Click the highlighted square again to confirm the move. Okay. What do you want to learn about? Okay. Yep. To make a pass, first select the player with the ball, then press pass button, and then enter pass mode. Uh, pass button. Well, you can check the success probability of a pass in the action box before performing the action. Click on the highlight square to perform the pass. Uh, success 1%. That, that's good. That's a good success rate. Apparently we succeeded. Good. Pass power 45. <laughs> Whatever that means. If the pass power is greater than zero, when the ball reaches the player, the pass will be successful. If not, the player won't be able to control the ball to receive it. Oh, that was just a random chance. Okay. What do you want to learn about? Shoot. Take a shot at a goal. First select a player with the ball, then press shoot. Shoot. You can check the success probability of a shot in a direction box. Shooting the sides increase probability of success, but there is a chance the ball will hit the post. Click on a square to perform the shot. Okay. So we have a 9% chance here because the keeper will probably get it. 20% on the sides. Um, okay. Uh, he got it. No, yeah, he got it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. If the shot power is greater than the goalkeeper's save power, when the ball reaches the goal, the shot will be successful. If not, the goalkeeper will save the ball. What do you want to learn about? Uh, yeah, tackle. To tackle a player, you need to be next to the opponent with the ball. Move your player next to the opponent. Uh, okay. To perform a tackle, first select your player, then select tackle to enter tackle mode. I, 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 I recognize a pattern here. You can check the success probably on the... Yeah, I, I expected that. So, uh, oh, I didn't checked it well, it was over 75 percent i think if your player's second power is greater than the opponent's dribble power the tackle will be successful and you will get the ball if not the opponent will dribble your player and keep the ball okay um sure how is dribbling work to dribble the ball pass and passed to dribble the ball past an opponent you need to be next to the opponent first select your player then select dribble to enter dribble mode dribble you can check the probability on the action dribble 75 percent i think we failed yeah okay if your player's dribble power is greater than the opponent's tackle power, the dribble will be successful. It's, it's uh, I definitely recognize a, pa a pattern, which is good. Um, it makes it more obvious how it works because all the mechanics work similar. So, um, players can use special abilities to improve their success probability or to inflict status effects. Select your player and press the pass button to enter pass mode. Okay, pass. Press the plus button to open the ability menu and select ice pass. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that sounds good. Uh, special abilities, ice pass, plus 10 power, 50 SP and 20 AP. I guess one of them is like special ability power and one is action points or something, probably. Click on the highlight square to perform the pass. Uh, okay, we do a ice pass. She has more power and therefore is more successful. <laughs> oh, awesome animations. <laughs> He's frozen. Oh, 
This prevents him from performing an action for a few turns. Okay, this might be fun. Um, I definitely like this style. Your donation status restores SP for play each turn. Uh, let's just play. You can select a match that you want to play next. When you win a match, next one on Lux. Our goal this year is to make it all the way to the World Cup. Each match has three objectives which grant you items when completed. <laughs> this is super gimmicky. This is amazing. You can view the objectives for each match by clicking on the star icon. Uh, these items improve player performance, so getting as many as possible is the key to victory. Okay, um, first round against Dachi, apparently. Um, sure, play. Free sets prevents the player from performing any action. Toshima vs. Dachi. The first match of the Ma National Cup is about to start. This is what we have been training so hard for. Is this, a, this is an indoor match. Okay. Uh, our opponent today is Adachi. They are quite a balanced team, but if we stay strong in defense, they should be uh, that. They shouldn't be that hard to beat. Understood. We won't let you win so easily. Uh, let's do our best out there, guys. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Um. I still have no idea how the game actually works. I guess it's we just taking turns. Probably. Um, this definitely looks pretty mobile-ish, the UI. Um, what is this? Can we? Yeah, okay, that sent us on a ball. That zooms in and out, okay. Uh, ooh, what? Oh gosh. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Okay, uh, select the player. Um, I mean, okay, we can pass to these other guys. Or we can move. I'm not sure, what is a good move? Wait, do we, maybe we don't do anything with this guy, actually. And we move him, or no, we take this guy. Oh, he can't run that far, unfortunately. Maybe he has a special move, no? Special move, move, uh, move skill. I don't know. Apparently not. Uh, let's move him here. Actually, you know, here to protect the. No, let's go there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um... Oh, I guess you take two actions. Yeah, it looks like that way. I think you take two actions, and then the opponent team. No. Oh wait, I can do two actions with every character. Okay. Each player can perform up to two actions per turn. You can see how many actions he has left by checking the bubble over his head. If the player has not bubble, it means he can still perform two actions. If the player runs out of actions, you will have to wait until next turn before you can perform another action with that player. Uh, okay. I expected this to be a little bit more fast paced, but I guess we can move all our players first. You can finish your turn at any time by pressing the end turn button in the top left corner of the screen. Timer counts down one minute at the end of each turn, so keep an eye on how many minutes are remaining the match when planning your actions. Okay, okay, okay. Let's position ourselves a little bit more uh, offensive. I mean, we're at we're on offense right now. Um, can can they do like a special defensive move or something? No, I think we just keep them there. It would be it would be nice to move the camera with WASD. I'm trying that. Uh, arrow keys don't work either. I can only do right click. Definitely, this definitely smells mobile-y, but um, the gameplay looks interesting for sure. Um, what do we do? Wait, how far can he move? Well, I can always move two squares. Uh, that's not actually what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. And apparently they have the Blood Bowl mechanic in there as well. Uh, that you, like, the turn ends when you lose, when you miss or fail an action. Um, that's definitely not what I wanted. Okay, how can I get the ball? Tech a success, 64. Tackle. Oh, I have to choose Tackle first. Ah, oh, that's annoying. And I failed it. When a player fails a tackle, triple or blocked, he becomes stunned and can't perform any more actions for the rest of the turn. Okay. Um, but the turn doesn't end, so... And this guy... Can't tackle? Why well, can't I tackle with him? Uh... Weird. Oh, wait! I can only do one tackle per turn? Probably. 
Interesting. Okay. Um, let's block the attackers. No, you stay there. Actually, you step back a bit as a backup. And then we enter. Where's the enter button? There. Ah, oh, he failed the block. And he failed to receive the pass as well, so we're still good. <laughs> hey, this is kind of fun. Um, I have to figure out if this is mobile. If, if this is available on mobile or will be available on mobile. I ex I ex like, the UI definitely cries mobile, so I expect it to be. That could be fun. That could be a fun shit game. A game you play while taking a shit. Or a dump game. Whatever we want to call them. Um, if I move there, will I pick up the ball? Can I expect him not to? Let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's bad. Can't move to... Well, and now, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> now I'm definitely in trouble. <laughs> Um, let's go there. Uh, and now pull our attackers back a little bit as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It would be nice to have, like, the control scheme is not very great. It would be nice to be, like, left click, right click or something. I don't know. It's a little weird. Um, okay, and turn. Yeah, sure, I want to end my turn. I don't have any actions left. <laughs> the AI is playing really weird, though. Like, he only picked up the ball and didn't do anything besides that. So, I guess we try to tackle again. 80% chance. Oh, and we failed. God fucking damn it. So, yeah, we can only do one tackle per turn, apparently. So, that sucks. Oh, I'm not allowed to move there. Okay. Well, in that case, stay there. No, you stay there to block this dude. You come back here a little bit, block this one, and turn. Yeah, the control scheme in UI is terrible, but what is... And the AI is fucking horrible. What is he doing? Or does it... Does that make sense what he's doing? Maybe he's trying to set up a better shot or something? I don't know. Very weird. Why can I, why do I have to choose tackle? Oh, this is, this is annoying. The UI is terrible. Okay, I got the ball. Oh, wait, but if I move now, I can't pass anymore. So let's instead do a pass. Can we pass to him? It's a 22% chance. Not good. Okay. Got it. Did it dip. Uh, let's do something like this and get the other guys a little further ahead as well. Can he do something useful? No. Does anyone has any skills? I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. What, do you, what is the AI doing? What the fuck? That might be a deal breaker. Like maybe the AI is stupid because it's like the first match or something, but that's fucking horrible. I could pass, but I don't really see the point in doing so.
Oh, he's actually trying to attack on me now. Okay, but he failed. Okay, I'm gonna try to set up a shot here. Mm, okay, 65%. Let's try something else. Let's move there first. And then pass. That's better. Oh! Oh, really? <laughs> okay, um, there's offside. Sure, didn't expect that. Do you play with offside when you're playing indoors? I'm not sure. I don't... I have no idea, but... I didn't expect offside, but sure, makes sense. Okay, cool, fair enough. Um, let's be a little bit aggressive. Maybe we can take the ball from him. Something along those lines sounds good. Offside? Really? Well, he failed that. Uh, I guess I'll just run for it. Pretty great chance of actually hitting that. So yeah, let's take that opportunity. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's kind of fun. I have to say. Very defensive play. Now the AI is actually at least doing so. Like he's not, why did he not move him forward? What is the AI doing? Really strange. Nice, stay there. When a player runs out of SP, he gets tired and all his stats are he a halved. Oh, okay. Oh, he's out of SP. That's why he's not doing that many moves, because I'm going down in SP a lot. Mm, okay, maybe the AI is not as stupid as I thought it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, you should be more careful with your moves. But... Yeah, I guess you regenerate them after the first half or something. Oh, fade the block, unfortunate. Oh, he's, wow. He fade the pass, though. I oh, picked him up with the other one, though. But yeah, he's running out of time, so. Okay, good. Um, Interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh, we can... <laughs> we can even bench players. Uh, Okay, and we can change formation and everything. Ah, oh, this is kind of fun. I definitely want to play this on my phone, though. Um, like, I can't take the game serious enough to play this on PC, especially with that UI. But if this is available on PC, uh, on, on phone, I'm, I'm super happy to play this. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Um, um, so, do they originate SP? Uh, not all of them, apparently. So, swapping a player probably makes sense. Uh, okay. Do we have more defenders? No. Maybe we should put in a more defensive formation. Uh, okay. There are only two formations available. Um, okay, whatever. Um, he's almost full. We can trade him with this guy. Which is he better? No, I think he has less stats though. Uh, maybe we swap him out. He seems to have the better stats, at least at first glance. Now I don't have any substitutions left. Okay. Oh. Definitely want to get into position there a little bit. Um, you can actually... No, you go there. 
And I think the rest can actually stay where they are to save some uh, SP. Let's see what he does. I mean, it's his time to attack. Like, I'm in, I'm ahead. So. Okay. Uh, I got it. Good. Okay. I take that. Um, okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted, but sure. Um, pass. 95%. We take that. Shooting from here is probably a terrible idea. So, I could triple. Success rate 25% though. Let's not do that. I think what I want to do is move over here. And have this guy catch up. And then... Pass the ball over here. And then see what we can do with that next turn. It's not Oh yeah, it's going down one minute, okay. Um so he tried to take the tackle me, but he failed. So we're in a decent spot now. No no no. Don't do that. Whoop. Uh, I'm in offside now, but I'm not gonna pass this turn anyway because out of out of actions. Ah, oh, god damn it! I wonder why he doesn't do anything with that though. Oh, I can't tackle him this turn. Uh, okay, just stay there then. And the other ones will get in position over here and here. I can't tackle him from here. Didn't realize. Pretty high chance of success, actually. Got it. Um, well, let's try to play this offensive then. So if I run there... So I could now shoot. What chance of... That's a pretty good chance. I could pass first. Let's try that though. Let's try that. Let's do a pass. And get closer. That's an even better chance. I still don't really understand how it works with the goalkeeper. What, like, like, why, why would you shoot at a keeper? Not sure if there is a point in doing so. Good, two zero for me. Okay, let's not use too many SP and just see what he does. I mean, I have a good chance of blocking when he does passing like that. Now he, he fade the ball again. So I cannot pick it up. Um, go there. Try a pass. I might fail, but... I mean, if I get the ball in his direction, that buys time, so... And, I mean, if it succeeds, even better. So, shooting is probably terrible. Yeah, let's not shoot. Let's move there, just to get the ball in that direction and have a chance of not getting... Like, uh, getting through with this, obviously, if he fails a tackle. No, he doesn't. Okay. Still, that did cost him a lot of time, again. Well, not that much time, I guess, but... 
Paid the block, but he failed to pass as well, but picked him up with the next player. Okay. Kind of getting in a dangerous spot here. That's a very high success chance of tackling, though. And now we're gonna pass it to him. Move here. Oh, goddammit, didn't realize. Ah, that's bad. That pass will not have a high chance of succeeding, though. Well, it didn't. <laughs> Okay, um, that case. Do this, then move there. He has a chance of taking the ball, but he didn't. Let's just play, play high risk here, why not? I mean, if it fails, the ball is in his half, so... And he doesn't have many turns left. That seems like a decent strategy. Okay, that's dangerous. That's actually super dangerous. And he doesn't go for the shot. Okay, he could have shot from there, which would have been a terrible chance. Fitting. Um, I can't stop him, though. We'll go for the shot next turn. Um, I'm not sure if it makes a difference if I stay next to him. That might give me a chance at... Can I... Oh, I can tackle from here. Never mind. You can tackle diagonally. Good to know. Uh, oh, tackling doesn't take an action? Okay. Oh, I can't pass that far, though. Can pass over there. That's a really low chance, though. Let's not do that. So play him a little bit more defensively in case this guy takes the ball. Running out of SP. Wait, let's not end the turn yet. Okay. I think it's his last turn now, though. If he doesn't succeed now, then we're good. It doesn't seem like he does. Um, so let's see if we can actually get another goal. Move him here. Move here. Yeah, there's a good chance at failing this. Oh, we didn't though. Oh, I, yeah, I'm out of actions. That was dumb. Well, so much for that. I don't think I can take the ball from him. No. Okay. Uh, I guess that finalizes it. Didn't realize I used my action already. Okay, cool. This is, it's a little slow paced, but it's fun. <laughs> we did our best, but you were superior. I'm very happy with our performance today. Uh, it was a good match. You guys put up an excellent fight. Especially because there's a campaign mode in everything. That's really nice. And we get to play together again. Uh, and XP and everything. And leveling up. And oh gosh. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, I should have scored three or more goals to gain an extra star. Don't concede any goals. I forgot what the stars are for. I think they improve my players though because they give XP or something. Items obtained. Comfy boots can learn drowsy pass ability. Thick what? Thick shin pads. Tackle set plus five. Spring gloves. Safe step plus five. Comfy shin pads can learn drowsy tackle ability. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Sleep status prevents the player. <laughs> you can make them fall asleep. We won our first match. I knew we could do it. We are now one step closer to our dream. I want to tell you about experience points and training points. Whenever a player performs a successful action in a match, he earns XP and TP. XP allows the player to level up, boosting his stats. TP is used to learn new abilities. Make sure you earn both with every player on the team so they don't fall behind. Keep in mind that a player won't earn any XP when playing against a team of his level or lower, although he will still earn TP. Oh, before I forget, remember I told you about match objectives? You can go back to the equipment menu to use the new item to just obtain. 
Uh, okay, let's take a look at your equipment. Uh, let's equip an item. Click on Hideo Moramaki to open his status menu. Uh, okay. Click the boot section to view the items. Uh, boots. Boots. Comfort boots. Comfort boots grant the player the Trozy Tackle ability, which means that Hideo can now start learning his disability. When he earns enough DP, he will retain uh, the ability permanently. A player must have an item equipped in order to use its ability while learning. However, once learned, the player no longer needs to equip the item to use the ability. Okay, interesting. You can check a player's active abilities in the ability section of this menu. It does not only grant abilities, but also boost the player's stats, protect against an afflicted state, and much more. Remember to check an item's description before equipping it. So basically, you use the equipment to train your player, so it makes a lot of sense to swap the equipment and swap the players in and out um, to train them new abilities and uh, so they all learn them permanently. Interesting, interesting. That's cool. What else is there? Formation. This is where you can change your team's formation. You drag and drop player to swap his position with another. But there are only two formations available, so... Band, reserve, we don't have anyone in reserve. And... Yeah, that's it. Doesn't tell me how to... Oh, there we go. It does tell me how to get the stars. Objective, win the match. Oh, okay, so the stars is where you get the items from. Use Drozzy Pass ability. And let's go through more goals. Can we replay that match? We can replay the match. Okay. Um, interesting. That's a little weird. <laughs> uh, but it makes sense to gain the stars, I guess, still. Anyway, um, this is definitely kind of fun. Um, it's called Kam Ganbara Super Strikers. I, I, the UI really stops me from playing this on PC, but if this releases on mobile I'm gonna I'm uh, gonna check if it does and put it the answer to that in the description below um, then I definitely see me playing this on my phone while sitting on the toilet like definitely this is uh, it, like I really like this uh, really love the style of the game um, and the tactics are decent as well um, it's a little bit like Blood Bowl <laughs> but with enemy soccer as a theme so <laughs> that's kind of neat um, yeah it's supposed to release in, in June. I'm TH Pine. Thanks all for watching. Have fun and see you next time.